All right, so I realized the last video was pretty bad on the audio quality, so I feel like I owe you guys this one. So I'm gonna go back in here, get you guys a win, and I got an extra booster pack for you guys, just uh, for my apology. So let's get in here and get you guys a win really quick. I think I had the wrong pack selected. I did. So I don't know if I'm gonna get this win for you guys, but I'm gonna cross my fingers and try my hardest. Let's see if we can win this, uh, get this first turn. See if he gives it to us. All right, he gave it to us. Now let's see if we can get some good cards going. Oh, we got Litten and Sandy Gas in the first turn. Ooh, and an Oranguru. So let's, uh, I don't think this one gives me the, the drawing Teddy. So, let's go with Tackle Teddy anyway. I'm gonna throw these three on the bench just so I can abuse his ability on my first turn. All right. Let's see. He's got a Raichu Break deck. I'm not sure what that does, but we're gonna throw all of these down here. Actually, I should have kept one of those in my hand so I can use this Ultra Ball. But we got a Passimian. Let's put an energy. Um, actually, that two retreat cost sucks. I'm gonna put energy on Litten, Ultra Ball for Litten's Mama. I think I'll end the turn there. Actually, no. Go to Foreign Gurus, Instruct, give me two more cards. Oh, nice. I'm gonna howl. Three more. Let's actually put a Torkoal down. And we end our turn. Got a little bit going there. The Orange Guru should help. Let's see if I play it. If I evolve, play a basic, play an energy. We put me on one card again. Draw two more. Hopefully I get a Incineroar. It's got Pokemon Fan Club. Got one energy, Stunfisk. 80 damage, 20 damage. Unless he evolves to back and try, sorry. 12 a.m. where I'm at. But I'm gonna get this out there for you guys because I owe it to you. Pikachu and Doe Duel. Gonna play that Pikachu for us. Turn two, right? You. Let's see. He's thinking. He's thinking. I see a Dodo come down. And Pikachu. All right. I like this random Mewtwo coin he has. I wonder if he put that. Can he edit the coin even though it's still a theme deck? Never thought about that. Oh, we got tails on there. So now that's oh, rock and roller. Hmm. Let's actually put fire energy here. Let's evolve. Lit into Terra Cat. Let's. Instruct for an extra card. Oh, nice, got the Incineroar. So, let's end our turn. Now I gotta work on getting this stuff out. I don't know if I have a switch in this deck or not. I only played this deck a few times, so I don't really know it. So if I actually win with it, I'd be surprised. Um, See, so he's got that retreat cost, minus two. So we can retreat at will. Kind of wishing I had that right now, but uh, I'll see if I can make do. If it all comes, all comes, you know, down to it, he can just kill that stuffle and get it out the way for me while I prepare my bench down here. Got my Incineroar already. Got my Fighting Energy. I'm gonna throw on top of that with him, so I can do that Dark Lariat if I need to. 
Hopefully those coins don't fail me. Or I can just fire fang for 20 damage, potentially 70, and even 90. He's weak to fighting. Paralyzed me, so I can't do anything. There's that sand, the pile of sand. Um, let's actually start working on this pile of sand. Can we evolve everything? I can. Going to construct. I should have played that in the first. It's fine. Um, I really like this attack on this pile of sand. But I want to have something I can attack with once he knocks this out right away. Um, yeah, let's put energy on. What's his 50 for the coin of heads? Yeah, I can put one is not paralyzed. So let's put fighting energy on Palace. Let's call that a day. Got going over there. See, he's got this 70 hit point discard and energy attached to this Pokemon. So, if he does that, he loses an energy. So, I'm not too worried. It'll be a one hit knockout for Stuffle. But anything behind that, it'll be at least two. And this one's going to be three. So, if I bring out him, I can fire fake for 50 damage. I can body slam for 50 damage and a possible paralysis. Paralyzing me again, cool, it's fine. I'm in no rush. So let's throw this fire energy on Incineroar, just to guarantee some kind of attack. Let's instruct for another energy. Another Stuffle. All right, end our turn. I gotta get this stuff out of the way. I do, I wouldn't mind getting some more energy before I do though. Just because. Orangu is up and out. The forest goat. <laughs> I like how he looks. Oh, we got a tails on that paralysis. Uh oh. It's not like I'm gonna switch him out anytime soon anyway. I feel like I should throw this on Incineroar. But I'm going to be an idiot and throw it on pile of sand. I don't know. Let's be safe. See, even if I do that, 100 is not guaranteed. Um, let's do something like just for the Just for the, the sake of it. Anything else can go on pile of sand from now on. I need to. I wonder why he's not putting that third energy on. I've been switching out for Stun Fist. Gotta tell us again. What's his plan? Got a fighting energy. I don't know if I have. That's gonna go on Pilot Sand. Just put a double damage once he gets out there. Not sure how it's gonna get out there, but he's gonna get out there. We got this. Mr. P. Forbes. Another static. Anti-switch. I'm guessing he can't get energy either. Maybe that's what it is. Crap, I can't play anything. Oh, my guru is becoming useless now. Um, kind of wish I didn't throw this boulder down there. I should have kept one spot open just in case. But I wanted those cards. It's cool. We'll, work. we'll make it work. I wonder if he has a magnet zone in this deck. I hope not. I'm giving him plenty, plenty of time to get to it. I guess I'll start stacking energy on stuff. I want to get one more on Palisand though. So 
Then the litten. Can't do anything. Dang it, I'm just stuck. What is he waiting for? He has a Fennekin. Does he have Delphox? It's a break deck, so I, I can't see. Let's break the point. Break deck. Ooh, Timer Ball. Um, what can I evolve anyway? I can't evolve anything. I'm gonna hold off on that. Actually, I'll use it. One heads, two heads. Let's get Tarot Cat and Incineroar. Let's see if I have any uh, switches in here. Nope. So I have to energy him out. Crap. Yeah. Well, let's get those energies going. I got two Pokemon out of my deck just so I get a higher chance of drawing energy. Out of 26 cards, 10 of those are energy, so 2.6 chance of me grabbing. 2.6 or 1.4? I don't know. Every other card should be an energy, technically speaking. Or if the game likes me enough, <laughs> they can give me every card is the energy. Give me two energies in a row, I'll be happy. Why does Duffel cost two energy to remove? There's that energy you could have played. What's Rats you got going on down here? 50 damage to each of your opponent's EX Pokemon, which I don't have any of. It's cool, I don't have any of it attached yet anyway. Another Tarot Cat, Sun Energy. That increases my odds for energy. It's a little less than every other card, so I think it's a 1.5 right now. Chance of getting energy. And I'm gonna have to go. Let's hope this, let's turn this off. There's one energy. Um, this is so hard. It's actually a pile of sand right there. Just when he's forced to get out there, he's able to. Cause that, that absorb vitality is gonna give me 100 hit points and kill him in one hit. If I can pull it off. Weak to fighting. Weak to fighting. Weak to electric. Weak to water. It's three energy. If it has it's 20 more damage, it's 70 damage off the bat. Is it gonna switch? For free? No? Okay. It's an evolution. Unparalyzed, but I still can't switch. Now it gives me a three retreat cost. Hmm. Maybe that's what I'll do. Um. No, I can't do that. Let's just end that turn. I have to give up this prize card. I have nine energy. Twenty-three cards left. See if I can put another one. Mr. P. Forbes is deciding what he should do next. He has a whole bench spot left open. Three energies on that right chair. He can knock out my Stuffle. All right, three energies here. Stuffle knockout. Good chance at bringing Polisand right away, but I don't want to risk that. And bringing out Incineroar is not too dangerous. The most he can do is 90. These will um, 70 hit points. And that's a chance of 90. And paralyzed again. Energy. Not energy. 
you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to discard three energy. But let's make the prize card work. He's gonna have to attack, have to attack twice in order to kill me. I wonder if he's gonna wait for me to deck out. Cause I'm getting pretty close to that point. I really hope this game is not ending a deck out. Technically I have 20, if I don't go through my deck, I have 22 turns left. He attacks. Discards the energy. Cool. I got energy. Let's put that one here. I know I have a card that I can get energy back with. I could have healed 30, but I actually saved that for a Pokemon I need. Cause if they knock him out, that works for me. It's gonna attack again. Yes, he knocks him out. Whoa, I'm so surprised. He gets the first prize card. Yeah, only one turn left. I wonder if I can get this double flip. I'm so scared it's not gonna work out. What's he got? 80 hit points. Ooh, and I got energy. That can go here. Let's take chances, get messy, make mistakes. One heads, two heads, 204. Yes, that is what I'm talking about, Incineroar. You are, you, my friend, are amazing. And I get an energy. I can throw that on Torkoal if need be, but don't really need it to be. What's he got? 80 damage, and he's gonna lose an energy. Oh, that's if he places one. Oh, it's 100 damage on this revenge attack. Crap. That's okay, I can heal 30, bring it on 70, leaves with 98 points left. It's okay, it's okay. I have one energy here. Got Magneton with two electric energy. Play Magneton, play some energy. Right, she's got 70. Let's put. Hmm, another Litten. Let's put fighting energy on the end. Let's bring me back to 90. So he's gonna hit 90, he can't hit 90. So let's... Take a chance. No, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. But he can only do 20 damage unless he places his energy and he loses that for 80. And I still have hit 10 hit points left before the knockout. Bring him back four energies from his discard. I'm guessing all electric. That's all I oh no, he lost some fire too, I think. But he should bring back mostly electric unless he has fire. Oh, yeah, that's two. Um, so he's gonna play one. Thunder Blast? I'm just gonna go for the Fire Fang next turn if he doesn't attack. <laughs> Let's see. Turns left. 20 damage. I'm gonna play energy. Litten. You go off Litten to Terra Cat. Then we're going to Fire Fang for a burn. Did 
Dang it. It's not what I want to happen. Just need one more energy to have the second. Uh... Should I go for flamethrower instead? No, Incineroar has so much hit points. It's beautiful. He has hit 70. There's the hook. There he is. He has to discard the energy. I know I have an energy uh, retrieval. So it's not so bad. I'm gonna put this pile of sand out there. Hopefully never gonna die. Of course, I'm there for the Thunder Blast next turn. Following the same footsteps. Oh. What are the basics do I have? Oh, I don't I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Let's that would be a good way to get energy for Palisade. Let's evolve into Incineroar. Let's absorb vitality. Good. Double damage. And we get energy. The last energy and Cinderor need it. So he has to hit 130. Or he can't win, really. He can't, because these are both weak to fighting. I'm gonna get 100 health from each one. Unless he brings out Dodrio. Or Fennekin. Fennekin's a one shot. Dodrio's two shot. But Dodrio has no energy, so it's no. Yeah, I think I pretty much got this for you guys. So, this video that I owed you, this one on, I'm gonna get for you. Let's see, Mr. P. Forbes. Unless he's seen this, his future the same way I am. Bet of survival. Let's put him out first. That sucks though because it gets rid of his retreat cost. It's free retreat cost. But everything he has is still weak to fighting. All he can do now is end his turn. It's not on his bench anymore, so he has to have at least one energy to retreat him. Even if, he, if I knock him out, he's gonna attack me. I'm gonna heal off of it. So, I'm not sure what he can do. He's gonna Skyla for something. Is that a game changing move? Guess we'll find out. We're both tied up four and four prize cards. Healing 60 damage, and all special conditions. Oh, so I'm gonna attack, he's gonna heal. Nope. If he had a weakness policy, I thought that's what it was at first, and I was gonna cry. But, um. My turn. Play this energy. Let's see, this is 50 damage, chance of paralysis. This is 50 damage and a burn, so I actually like that better. I'm gonna put this here, then we're gonna absorb vitality. Always oh, resistant to it, wow, I didn't know that. He's gonna wait for me to attack one more time and he's gonna heal. Can't switch because our retreat cost is way too high. He's weak to fighting too, 70 damage. Let's 
Stunning Fist can hit me for 100, but still, it's not a knockout. Unless he damages me more than I did, 30 more than I can heal. So he can revenge, switch, and then revenge, but I'll knock him out if he revenges. I'm not sure what he's, what he's planning on doing. This is actually like, I'm anxious now. Oh, I see what he's, he's gonna try and wait. Let's absorb Vitality, get him 30. He's gonna heal 50. He's gonna have to attack him three more times. That's four turns, he has 10 turns. Four turns. So he's gonna have to wait six turns somehow. Oh, he heals 60 damage. Still three attacks. Just in case I do want to retreat him. I don't know. Let's do that. For a potential retreat. Two more turns. I really hope he does not have another Pokemon Center lady. since I think it was three. So I should have seven more in there. Attack. I doubt there's a double colorless in that deck. Let's see what he's got. Gonna switch. I think he's gonna switch actually. Because he doesn't want to lose that prize card. He's gonna switch for Smeargle. No, he's weak to fighting too. But again, he's not got one hit. So if I do 100, one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit, this one can survive. But he attacks me, I heal. He can't, he, he won't do that because he doesn't, yeah. Two energies from my discard, back into my hand. Let's do fire. Actually, let's keep it one of each, like I've always done. One, and I'm an exit if I have to. I can switch out. So I just need three more, three more prize cards. There's no way to get 30 damage, is there? So he's gonna do 100 here. I'm gonna heal 100. So that works, right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> so it has to be, so he's gonna do 100. Oh, actually 80, because um, my ability. I'm going to ignore the fact that I just got that. I'm gonna put this here. I'm going to one shot, or actually I survive it. I heal 80. So now he's gonna attack me for 20, or switch out. Switches out, he uses all his energy. But he gains a turn. So now he's gonna hit for 80. There's an 
energy. It's not going to do much. I mean, it's not going to do anything, really. Oh, but he only has 10 hit points left. I see. So I only gained 10. So that's 70. So he has 60. Then he's going to try to micro smash me. I see his plan. So then I just won't kill you with Pile of Sand. I'll kill you with Incineroar or even Torkoal. Hmm. So if I kill you with Incineroar, you'll bring out Raichu that can only do 70. Not that enough to kill Incineroar. So let's do that. Retreat. Yes, for Incineroar. One, two, three, four. Done. I've never had to do that before in my life. Fire Fang for the knockout. Wait, no, 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 no. Let's put energy on Torkoal. Then let's Fire Fang for the knockout. Nine turns left to get two more prize cards. This is getting antsy. Oh my gosh. Who do you bring out? There's Raichu. Raichu's gonna hit me for 70. Or 90 with the heads. I feel like I should take the patient route and do the burn. That'll leave me with 50 hit points. 48 points, I'll take 58 points. Send a quill. Ow. So then we're gonna put. I don't know, because if any of these, either of these are heads, he's dead. If none of them are heads, I'm dead. Give me one heads. No, are you serious? What? No way. Oh, dang it. Well, Incineroar is knocked out. That sucks. But it's okay, because if he knocks me out, I'm bringing a pile of sand to knock him out. That leaves me one prize card left. He might not knock me out. I don't think he's going to. He will. Just barely. Just the exact amount he needed. So Polisand's gonna go out there and get healed right back up. Let's put an energy on. Sand gas, I guess, just in case. There we go. That's gonna knock out one more. Seven turns. One more card in seven turns, you guys. Dude, this has to have been the longest match I've ever had. He has five minutes left on his clock. Cyndaquil. Why Cyndaquil? Oh, because he takes two turns to knock out instead of just one. Huh, <laughs> smart. Can't kill it, can't kill it, can't kill it. Hmm, again, getting interesting. Wait, wait, if your opponent's active Pokemon has fighting resistance, this deck is 50 more damage? Wow, that's funny, that's a cool card actually. No damage because it's 20. I got six turns. Let's put an energy on. What's his second attack? 30 damage, can't retreat. Get some burns for 20. Let's. 30 damage one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I didn't realize that. Let's put him on the bench with the fighting energy. I can switch and attack 
Find the camera. Either way, it's two turns. I wonder if he's gonna switch. Let's do this. So I got six turns to do this. One, two, three, four. Okay. I think I got this in four turns. As long as this works the way I plan it to. Plan it to. So he's gonna switch out to try and reserve his Cyndaquil, but who's he gonna switch out with? Everyone else is weak to my attacks. So let's knock out Cyndaquil. Oh, it's game. Okay. We win! We win! We win! All right. All right, I promise you guys I'll get that win for you. I got that win for you. I also promise you guys one more win. So, let's get these 50 points. And, uh, go open up this booster, booster pack I got. So close to getting that guard up for 11 more points. 11 more points. I actually do like this deck. I think I might invest a little more time into learning that one. But, without further ado, let's go to our collection. Get this pack open for you guys. Let's hope we get something good. Just to, just to end it with a blast. Give us something good, Pokemon TCG gods. Hey, you got a Gibble. Oh, we got a Cynthia. Boom, boom. Shantic and Heatran. Reverse Hollow. I like the Cynthia. Then draw six cards. That's better than <laughs> Shauna that's actually been helping us out today. So, again, thank you guys for coming to my video. Leave a like if you like what you've seen. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I still am getting you guys, I'm working on the edit as we speak to uh, this Ultra Prism booster box. And I will see you guys in the next one.